G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to go with some blues today and throw in a little bit of gold. I've been playing a lot with gold lately. Sometimes gold just doesn't work very well and then you move away from it and it's been working well for me lately so I'm having another go. And I want to show you, this is like one of my all-time favourite paintings. did it, uh, oh, probably a year or so ago. This was when I was still using Floetrol. I uh, just really like the colours. So I'm going with these colours, but throwing in some gold as well, just to see how that goes. That's really pretty, that one. Right, so I've got my cup ready, got my canvas, 30 centimetre by 40 centimetre, 12 by 16 inch, and my usual pouring medium, 30% glue, Sorry, I can't read. 70% glue, 30% water, and a little bit of Flow Aid mixed in there just to help with the binders. And the flowing seems to be working. And I have mixed that pouring medium 50 50 with my paints today. And they're all global paints. I'll tell you about the colours in a minute. I'm going to add my spot on treadmill silicone. And um, let's do three. One, two, three. I won't do the white. The blue's got quite a lot. Make extra navy, so I'll put four in that one, eh? Give it a really, really good stir in. As I always say, stir it in well. Are you going to get big blobs of silicone in your painting that will all stretch out and look like big worms <laughs> I don't like to put oil silicone oil in my metallic paints the metallics are a little bit different and the oil doesn't seem to blend with them that just kind of sits on top and then because it hasn't been stirred in you get the big wormy creatures so none in my gold now, the metallics always have to be thicker. I'll show you the consistency of this. Oh, it's very fluffy, bubbly <laughs> and fluffy. So it probably feels thicker, like it's leaving a much bigger mound. But it's still roughly the same consistency as the other paints. Well, once it's poured out, it's about the same consistency. Uh, let me show you the blue. You can probably see the blue nice and easily. I know everyone likes to see the consistency. Now hold your stick. The bottom of the stick's probably in line with the top of the cup. No point holding it all the way up here because you're going to get a different effect. Just hold it about an inch or two above the cup. See the mound? Leaves a little ribbon on top. That's what you want, nice and thick. If you have it too thin, uh, your cells won't keep their shape. It'll just be all wobbly. Your cells will be, that is, all wobbly and distorted as you try to stretch them. They just won't keep their shape and they'll just all wobble. Instead of staying, staying nice and round, I've made up a little bit less black. I've got the most of the navy. A little bit of the black. I didn't want the black to be too overpowering. I did want it to be really nice and blue. So I've got lots of lots of navy blue in here. I always find that the blue sort of tends to be lost a little bit sometimes in pores. Add extra blue, a little bit of white. Now for this size canvas, I need about between five and six hundred grams of mixed paint. You really don't want to get too close to six hundred grams. Uh, it's just too much paint. I prefer to have a bit less and stretch the paint out. That way your cells can grow. And if you have too much paint, then 
you know, you've flipped your cup over and it's almost all covered already. So there's no stretching to be done. Um, and then your cells don't get stretched and, and grow because there's nowhere to stretch them to because this is paint's already all over the canvas. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Makes sense to me. I'm running out of space here, so I'm just gonna add some more blue. Like in the white, there's a little bit of that left, but I just keep that for later on. Okay. Now the gold that I made, well, I shouldn't say I made it, but I used the global metallic gold, and I added a little bit of metallic um, pearl just because the full metallic gold is really bright it's a bit a bit too yellow so yeah I added a little bit of the pearl that takes it down to a really pretty color I'm just gonna climb up and show you Look how pretty that colour is. That's the colour I made. I call it pale gold. So it's we use 60 grams of metallic gold and then 20 grams of pearl. It just lightens it a little bit. It still looks really quite dark there, but it's no nowhere near as dark as the full metallic gold is. Pretty hump. So we'll see how that turns out in the pour. I do need to make another video on how to mix new colours because I've got a lot of new colours now and everyone keeps saying to me, make a new video. And I will, but I've got to wait for my bottles to empty and then I can fill them up again. Otherwise I have to put the paint somewhere <laughs> if I don't have a jar to put it in. I need to order some new containers. If anyone knows where I can get nice containers like this, that hold 500 grams with lids. Let me know. And I'll get some and then I'll make up some colours. Right. Let's do this. Actually, I wasn't going to do that, was I? Uh-uh. I was going to put plain colour on. That's what I told you I was going to do. Oh, I didn't tell you about my colours. Light blue. Deep space. Navy, the gold I've told you about, and black and white. Simple. Um, um, um. Let's pop some navy on our corners. Looks like I've got a very hazy, greyish coating over that, which isn't ideal, but we'll see what happens once I get torching and stretching. Come around over here to do this corner. I'm not going to worry about the sides at the moment. I can do them later. just want to do my corners there. It just helps the paint flow to those corners if you've got them wet down with some paint. Right, I'm going to give this a little bit of a, a swirl around. And then I'll give it a torch, that big bubble there. Whoop. All right, well, hopefully some pretty colours will come up because that's not looking very attractive at the moment. It's a problem with using black. Anyway, we'll see what happens. A bit early to tell yet. I like the black, the contrast of the dark colours against, you know, the light blue. As long as it doesn't go too greyish looking. A 
new can of butane on this torch today, so it's working again well. So not too close, as I always say, don't get too close. Rather torch for a minute or two, rather than just do it for 10 seconds and then you're over torched. Take your time, start up really high. Gradually, gradually go down lower if there's nothing happening. Don't go too low all at once. You'll ruin it. You'll get too close, you'll get too many cells come up, you'll get caterpillars. Just take your time. Go slow. There's no rush. Got nothing better to do, have you? Well, I'm going to go and find a good movie on Netflix after this. Put the kettle on. Let's see what movie I can find. I did start watching um, Dead to Me with Christina Applegate. Watched the whole first series in two days flat, and now I'm going, well, where's the rest of it? <laughs> I hate that. You know, you find a good show, and you've watched it all in two days, and then the rest of it, the next season's probably not going to come out for another year. Oh my gosh. Oh well. I did enjoy it. I'm just seeing if I can get any more cells down here, but it doesn't look as if I'm going to get much more down there. No, probably not. That's a good amount of torching though, isn't it? I'm, I'm impressed with that. I was very restrained. Strained indeed. I'm keeping that heat moving. I'm not staying in one spot for too long. Okay. I'm loving those cells. Okay. Where's the gold? It's a little bit there. Let's hope that I can get some gold as I stretch this out. Now, as always, that bit there that's come out of the cup. I must, I don't know, I always get that, the last little bit of the cup. I'll get rid of that. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, because I want this to go over, I'm gonna let some of that go over but not up there just yet. Because this can go first. Okay, that corner's done. Now, wait till the paint's all up this end, so we'll turn it around and do that corner next because the paint's already all up here. Oh, it is looking very grey. Didn't want it grey, wanted it blue. Hands. I shouldn't stick my fingers under the canvas. I just get paint all over my gloves. Always have a couple of damp cloths here ready to go. My grubby hands. All right. Now, get the weight of the paint down to the other end. I'd have to do this again without the black actually. Probably the navy was enough. Um, maybe the navy could have been my my black. 
don't want to lose those cute little cells there. So just put my finger on the end of that. Wish I had more of this up here. Look at that. That's the gold with the blue making that beautiful turquoisey colour. It's very dark, isn't it? Cells are gorgeous, but it's very dark. Odd. It's very strange. Um, yeah, definitely have to do it again. <laughs> I always seem to have to do my paintings again and take the black out. Not loving that black. And I don't like this corner. Got some weird cells there. I'm just going to see how far I can take this paint. See if I can get rid of some of those, those cells on the corner there that I don't like. Gone. Gone skis. Actually, before I, I should have torched some more before I did that because then I would have been able to grow my baby cells. Just going to get a few little baby cells in here. I did have the black next to the gold in my cup and I think that's what's doing this this yucky brown color it would have been so much prettier without that black he thinks oh well I'll just have to do it again won't I it's a little bit of black coming up uh, gold coming up there but for the amount of gold that I used really haven't got a lot of it. Let's see if I can get some more little cells popping up. Get some smaller cells popping up into this dark area here, that might be nice. isn't it? Starry, starry night. Okay, so there's some there come up. Those are pretty. Got some navy ones through there. I'll have to see if I can grow those babies a bit. move the canvas around a little bit see if I can grow them a touch so if you want to grow your cells you have to move your canvas in all directions there's no point just going up and down because then they're just going to get long those are cute look at those very nice oh well you know it's actually it is improving put a lot of oil in you know normally I would put more oil in I don't put a lot in this time I'm liking it better 
um, even though it wasn't what I had in my head. I had a bright, in my head I had bright blue, lots of gold. Um, yeah, this is more... much more dark and... riverbed. So these cells have opened up now, looking much nicer. <laughs> Hair in my mouth. <laughs> I can't get it out because I've got paint all over my gloves. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave that like that, even though it's not what I was planning on. I still like it. This you know, it would have been really pretty on a big canvas, this one, these colours. And those little baby cells, they are really cute, aren't they? They've turned out really nicely. I'll take it down for a close-up so that you can see them. Because you can't really see them at the moment from up there where you are. Just going to do my corners. When you're doing your corners, just pop some paint up the top of the, the side and let it run down. Don't put your fingers in it and smush it all around. Just let the paint fall down and make its own pretty little pattern. And it looks as if it's supposed to be there. It's nothing worse than you sticking your gloved finger in it and rubbing it around and making it all mushed. Now, you guys that have been following me, you know that my paint has been splitting, my navy blue. Um, no splitting. This is the new batch that's come through. I made this really, really thick, thicker than I have been. Um, and yeah, it's really good. So it looks as if that issue with the splitting has been resolved. Although those people that have still got um, old paint I still do have some of the old paint um, it'll be fine for swipes it's just no good for flip cups where you're stretching your cells out because when they stretch um, the cells just like break the paint just breaks all right here let me show you so look at these little babies down here now that dark color there it's the gold and the black together but the cells in it are really gorgeous. And then over here where I talked later, see those little cells there, those are really cute too. I've got the white rings around them. And then those little guys up there too that have popped up with the white rings around them. The cells are really quite pretty actually. I've got good, good rings around them. Why aren't you focusing? You don't know what to focus on, do you? There we go. Now you've got it. Good on your camera. I just use my phone. And then there's the pale blue. Look at the little tiny pale blue cells that have popped up in that dark background. I find when I just do a flip cup, I get much more of a, like a blended background than when I do my flip and drags and I get my stripies and of course the stripes are much brighter so you tend to get a brighter pull if you do a flip and drag whereas this background is is much more uh, just more calm I guess so that's it there still really pretty it's dark but uh, yeah, I really like that one too. Really, really pretty painting. Uh, so watch this space. I'm going to do these colours again and take out the black and uh, see what the difference is. Hopefully there'll be enough difference. We get a lot more green in it from the blue and the gold, making turquoise or green. Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you for the next pour. Definitely. Bye for now.